Greetings and salutations everybody. And today I'm going to talk about the cheap but less attractive way to scrapbook. First I'll show you some examples of mine and then I will go from there. This is one that I'm currently working on. So what I like to do is take magazines, like clippings, and quotes that I like, and um, pictures even, sometimes pictures, like if I have doubles or something, because this isn't really like the way that most people scrapbook, most people that I know anyway. Okay, we'll just start with the first page. So, okay, here I've got um, Spongebob, oh, this is a picture that I colored out of a coloring book. I just think it's so cute of him. This is a guy's phone number. <laughs> Then I've got like uh, Selena Gomez, Patrick Dempsey, um, just like a bunch of random people from magazines that I found. And then we've got uh, Mayhem from the, the, is it Allstate? Allstate commercial? No, it's not Allstate. It's, um, what, what commercial is he from? I can't even think of it at the moment. But yeah, you just got a bunch of different stuff, imagination, stuff like that. So I just kind of scrapbook like that. It's not the prettiest way to scrapbook because, I mean, I don't have like a bunch of nice stuff. I just kind of use what I can find. But it's, for the most part, almost free. And people spend such obscene amounts of money on scrapbooking. Like hundreds and hundreds of dollars and I just feel like that's not worth it. And you can make memories without it having to cost you your whole savings. So I mean, you can do uh, pictures too, it's just that I haven't been able to print out a lot of pictures from my digital camera because of monetary reasons. But I'm probably going to go to Walmart soon and print off some. But until then, I'm just like doing magazine stuff and quotes that I find. There's a good place on Tumblr. I think it's a sea of quotes.tumblr.com. I'll put it like right here right now. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really great. And it's got so many good quotes from books and just like everything. Here's the first book that I ever did. It's completely full now and it's like a total mess but I love it and it's memories you know. So it's called Text from the Past and Other Nonsense in the Life of Hope. This is what it would look like if you did the text thing and the text thing I should explain it better because you're probably wondering what the heck I'm talking about. So my phone, my cell phone, does not hold a lot of memory when it comes to text and I don't know if other people do this but I save texts that I feel like were memorable or that the person said something funny or meaningful or whatever when my phone fills up with text messages and I have to delete some stuff then I end up having to delete them so I thought why not kind of keep them forever and write them out on little ripped up pieces of paper and make it look all artistic or whatever and just like that was kind of the start of this whole thing, this kind of nonsense that is this scrapbook now. Like here's a really crazy page page spread, if you want to call it a spread, that I did. It's got, but it's got like clothes, um, I think that guy's name is Kevin Zegers or Zegers or some of the sort. You got the two guys from Supernatural, um, you just got like a number of stuff fashion, fashion-y stuff. This I just thought looked cool and then you got like some of those little icon things. I thought those shoes were cute. I mean it's just like this whole thing. It may not be for everybody because some people might think it's too messy. It's just something that I like to do and I thought that I would share it with the YouTube community. It's just kind of a way for me to express myself and a way for me to deal with things and I can just like lay out my composition notebook here and just like start you know going at it. That sounds weird but I, I think you get what I mean. What you would need if you would want to do something like this is not much. I mean that's why I call it the cheap way to scrapbook. I mean because it's nearly free. I mean, of course, everything costs money, but so first of all, you need a composition notebook like this. It's got like a it's always got a weird design on it, like some weird like crackly design on it. And then it's got this kind of binding. I don't know what it's called. It just looks like that kind of. 
this one is a little more intact still because I haven't totally stuffed it. So that's what you need first and then I use to tape the pages down and make them look shiny and stuff. I just use masking tape like, well it's not masking tape, it's like packing tape, clear packing tape. And that's so redneck but I am from Montana so that's what we do. So just like this, uh, it says scotch, uh, heavy duty, shipping packing tape. It just like looks like this. That's pretty much all you need and then whatever your creative mind can muster up. I have found some really good deals at Walmart on cute things to put in the scrapbooks like stickers, like little sheets of stickers for about a dollar. They're in the, it's kind of like the party aisle slash scrapbooking aisle and it's kind of by the greeting cards and they're, they're just, it, the top of it looks like this. Um, and yeah, they're, they're only a dollar. You get a whole sheet, sometimes two sheets, and they're about like yay big and they're only a dollar and so I'm like heck yeah man because if you go to like Michael's or some kind of creative scrapbook slash like artsy store like that most stickers are like four bucks and I'm just like no not happening I can do this for way cheaper I know I can so you can find really cute stickers at Walmart for a dollar they also have other stickers like I like Spongebob stickers and stuff like that fun little stickers. I haven't been able to find as many as I used to, like, I don't know if stickers have gone out of style or something. Recently I was able to find some stickers at Walmart besides the Sticko brand. I was able to buy these really cute kind of bubbly stickers. They're like little mini uh, Disney characters and stuff, so it doesn't... I don't know if you can see those. And that was about two dollars, and I was able to get two sheets of them, they were the same, but you know. And then I was able to get some Spongebob stickers. This is what they look like. Yeah, I was able to find them for about, I think it was two fifty, which is a little pricey for stickers. I mean, you just can't find anything as cheap as you used to. There was four sheets of the same one in the pack. Let me give you another example of a page that I did. Okay, like this. I found this thing called Life Instructions, and, and then I added some cute uh, stickers that I was able to find in the, by that Stickos brand. All the stickers on these pages were from the Sticko thing. They were a dollar. So you've got, well, actually this would come first, sorry. So yeah, like that kind of thing. And then I used tape to tape over it. I'll probably quick show you like a sped up video of me um, doing a page just cause like so that you guys can understand better.
the sky is the limit, you know? I mean, uh, you can do whatever you want, and it's just a cool, easy, cheap way to make memories. I mean, that sounds kind of cheesy, but, I mean, like, I was looking on YouTube for maybe some more videos that were of cheap scrapbooking, and there's, like, nothing. They just expect you to spend all this money on all these little tiny things, and then you just create this big page spread, and it's, like, kind of, uh, ridiculous. I mean, it looks nice sometimes, but it's just all that money spent on it, you know? I just, I guess I feel like you can do the same kind of thing and just spend less money. I mean, maybe it's just me. I don't have a lot of money, so this kind of thing would really appeal to me if I was looking for it on YouTube. Because you can just do anything, and I mean, composition notebooks are like, what, 95 cents or something? Especially, sometimes they're even cheaper during, like, fall. I, I think this is cute. I mean, maybe it's just the redneck in me, but I think it's cute. I mean, yeah, it's not, like, people wouldn't pay money for something like this, but, I mean, hey, it's just like, it's mine, and I made it, and... I feel like it's more meaningful than buying all this fancy stuff to put on in a book. Now I'm rambling. I was lucky enough to have some friends of mine that did a project for school and then they gave me all their leftover stuff. So I do have some nicer stuff that I can use. But I know they spent a lot of money on it for their project and they were gonna throw out their old stuff and I was like, heck no, because they had so much left over. I think they went to Michael's and they bought all that stuff. I think they said they spent like $130. Look at all this extra stuff that they were going to throw away. Just like, look at it. And I mean like this glue gun. Like this glue gun that they got. And now I have a glue gun. I've never had a glue gun before. And there's like all these little cutesy animals and stuff. Like stickers. Like look at this. Look at how cute. The little deer. How cute is that? Little, a little Bambi. And people ask me, like, why do you do that? It's not even fun. But I guess it's just not everyone's cup of tea. Well, I guess if you're one of those people that thinks this is wicked boring, then I guess you wouldn't still be watching this. Uh, like I said, the sky's the limit. Just think of whatever you like. Put pictures of uh, famous celebrities that you admire or guys or girls that you find attractive in the celebrity Hollywood world. Animals that you think are cute, like uh, you can print them off the internet and cut them out and put them in a book and stuff like that. Or just like, I find a lot of stuff on Tumblr that I think is so funny and I just think, well, is it really gonna be there in 10 years? I kinda wanna keep that, you know? Like, I've had a lot of people compliment me on this book, this first one that I made. I haven't really showed many people the one that I'm working on right now. But I mean, just like all this stuff, I mean, it's just memories. I found some old notes that were really crumpled up and and basically ruined, like that I used to pass around with uh, people at school, in high school. And so I wanted to put them in here and just like stuff like that. And at least the tape will kind of keep it nicer. I mean, eventually this too will fall apart, but it'll last longer than just notes sitting in a box. There's endless possibilities with what you can do with this kind of idea. Here's a page where I actually used quite a bit of pictures. Like, uh. All right, you guys, um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll just talk to you later. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, you know, whatever. Um, alright. Bye, guys.